Does chronic face mask use cause hypoxia? Let's find out. So that is my oxygen at 95, 96 on room air. Gosh, that's kind of low. I was recently listening to this person on Facebook. It was a doctor from Florida saying how face mask use can cause hypoxia, which can lead to oxygen deprivation, which can lead to the flight or fight response as a result of low oxygen. So I want to kind of test that theory today. So I am going to be, which I'm supposed to be doing, wearing my mask actually all day today. So as of right now, it's 10.54 a.m. I'm about to go ahead and see my second patient. And yes, I wear my mask when I see my patients, but generally I take it off when I'm either at home or I take it off when I'm in the car. So what I'm gonna end up doing today is just wearing it pretty much the whole day. Gosh, this is gonna suck. But okay, you saw my oxygen, it was at 95%. So let's see what happens if I start wearing it an hour, two hours, three hours from now. All right, let's begin. It's been about four hours since I last took my oxygen and right now it's about 228. So here you go, to clarify 228. Okay, computer can't lie, clock can't lie. And just, I just wanna say big shout out to all of those nurses, doctors, and employees that are required to wear this mask all day, every day. Because the back of my ear is just killing me. Like I can't wear this anymore. I don't wanna wear it, I wanna take this off considering that I'm home now, I'm, I'm safe, right? I, I could be, I'm okay. So again, just checking out this hypoxia theory regarding wearing this mask because it doesn't make sense to me, but let's see what my oxygen has to say. Look at that, 98, 95. All right, let's keep jumping. Let's keep it steady for a little bit. So 96, give or take, that's gonna be about pretty, pretty stable. 96, 80 heart rate. That's one upstairs, like six flights of stairs like five minutes ago, so I'm a little winded, but. All right, I can finally take this off now. Oh, God, feels better. Anyways, I have no idea what this doctor from Facebook says. I will go ahead and link it just so you guys can see what her her theory regarding hypoxia and face mask are because it doesn't make sense to me. But you guys could be the judge for yourself. Again, I am only one person. I cannot be the definitive answer saying like, yeah, if you wear a face mask, you're gonna be good or you're wearing a face mask, your oxygen's gonna be down, things like that. And so just, yeah. But in my, clear, in my understanding, just continue to wear your face mask, especially when you're outdoors with people. I mean, above, among all the people who's saying this, like I don't normally wear my face mask very often unless I am going outside. But if I'm in my car, if I'm just in my apartment, or if I'm walking my dog upstairs, for example, I, I don't wear it just because I'm outdoors, I'm, I'm by myself. Like why do I need to wear it? But if I'm gonna be outside, you know, being surrounded by people, I do tend to wear my face mask just because Primarily, I'm protecting other people. It's not necessarily protecting myself. I mean, yeah, to one degree it is, but it's more of a matter of, let's say I am asymptomatic, but I am a carrier of the disease. I wanna make sure that I am not spreading it to other people because that's kind of essentially the point of wearing a face mask. It's one, it's to protect other people, but, sorry, one, it's to protect yourself, but two, it's primarily to protect other people in case that you do have the disease and you're a carrier and you don't really know it. And so, yeah, just, Continue to be safe, and I think we're gonna get through this, okay? We're almost there, because I really need a haircut. This is so bad. Well, it's only bad because I didn't style it, but other than that, if I style it, it looks good. So, okay, take care of yourselves, and just continue being safe out there. See ya.